seriously. Um, so we got to talk about Boogie two nine eight eight. How many people in chat? If you know who Boogie two nine eight eight is, please put yeah D and D. I know. I'm excited. Um. Uh, not available Friday. That's fine. We'll make it work out, Adam. Um, let's talk about it. if you know Boogie two nine eight eight. Please put a cringe in chat. Put a cringe in chat if you know who Boogie two nine eight eight is. <laughs> True. Wow. Okay, so we know a lot of people. Yeah, he's also known as Francis. Wow. Now you guys got a combo on the question. Holy shit. A fucking 21 combo on a question. That is so beautiful. Oh my god. All right. I'm so excited to do this. This is going to be so much fucking fun. This is going to be so fucking stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we got it. We got it. It's good. I don't know what's up. Here. Let me get you. Let me get you. All right. Boogie 2988. Let's start let's start at the very beginning, okay? Let's start at the beginning. I bet you know who this is. Let me just get you the video. Ready? Here we go. Ready? I'm going to show you a video. Here we go. Ready? No. No, no computer cash. Are you guys still here? I thought you guys were leaving. No. You know I'm raiding. I'm not going to be able to talk to you guys. Yeah. You, 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 you saw a pizza in the fridge. We'll, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. What's with the camera? Social experiment, man. Don't worry about it. Where's my Mountain Dew? Uh, what are you talking about, man? No, where's my Mountain Dew? I keep it in the microwave. Uh, I know you have. Do you see my glass? Is just, I'm raiding in here, and I don't have any Mountain Dew. Like I, I, I saw some Mountain Lightning earlier. Where? Where did you hide the Mountain Dew? It's, it's... Where oh, did vermin. you hide it? Vermin. We're getting ready to go. It's like there's some, there's there's some Faygo in the fridge, man. I don't want any fucking fago! You cure the fago! <laughs> Dude, you gotta look like I'm thirsty you're for the fago. fago! Are you thirsty for fa fago? Yeah. Are you thirsty? Mmm! <laughs> it's delicious! It's delicious! I don't want fago! I want a Mountain Dew! It's, it's I want my goddamn Mountain Dew! I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find my goddamn Mountain Dew. Yeah, did you drink my Mountain Dew? Did you drink my Mountain Dew? Let me smell your breath. Let me smell your breath. Oh, you Mountain Dew drinking bitch? Drink it off of Mountain Dew? It's Mountain Let me smell Mountain your breath. Francis. I can't afford Mountain Dew, okay? The economy's rough right now, Obama! <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> I'm gonna find my Mountain Dew. I'm gonna find my Mountain Dew! A character played by a man who goes by Boogie2988. Now, at the time of this video in 2012, nobody knew that Francis was a character. Or at least nobody knew for sure that Francis was a character. Uh, Francis is an incredibly angry gamer. His original video was ranting about World of Warcraft. And then he later made a video that went viral, like old school YouTube viral, um, where he talked about uh, 
Diablo 3. Or, wait, what was it called? Error 37? Error 37? What? What? There's 37 of them? That sort of thing. And uh, he would he would rage about it, you know what I mean? And his whole thing was he would get really fucking mad about all kinds of stuff. He's done a million Francis videos. Oh, yeah, there's that one, too. Don't worry, I'm not assuming anymore, Benjamin. Yeah, it's impressive. Impressive, isn't it? Yep. So, um, classic gamer rage, m making fun of that. Now, again, viral fame. Like, guy actually went full viral. And from there, the saga... <laughs> yes, Jessica Metal, we'll get there. Now, the saga of Boogie2988 has basically never ended since that moment. For the last nine years or so, or ten years, uh, Boogie2988 has been all over the internet, um, and... Uh, and He's been, he's gone through periods of popularity, but he's always been there. Um, and uh, I mean, he, he commented on Gamergate at one point. That was a whole thing. Um, and Boogie2988 got a, um, a reputation for being a, like the peak enlightened centrist. Okay. Like peak enlightened centrist. Like he would literally call himself the fe f uh, fence sitter Boogie or fence sitter Francis, um, as a joke, because he would, um, you know, because he was such a, such a centrist. Like, I mean, he took a centrist position on Gamergate. You know what I mean? Yeah, there was the H3H3 thing, which was another moment where, uh, the H3H3 one is where he got the nickname Boogie 1488. Um, the, the, <laughs> the nickname Boogie 1488, uh, became his, um, his, uh, recent, moniker over the last few years after he's had a number of really fucking bad takes um you know i mean he said that like gay people should have maybe waited um and and we would have had gay marriage without as much pain um he said similar things about the like i mean he didn't like deny the holocaust but he kind of said that like maybe there was a peaceful answer and didn't have to be so bl anyway bad uh bad takes really bad takes and he, historically, Boogie2988 has never really, um, he has never really, um, taken criticism well. Let's put it that way. Basically, um, whenever he gets criticized, he talks about, oh, I, people hate me because I'm in the middle. He literally will do these giant posts where he's just like stuck in the middle with you it's poor me i i'm getting crucified on both sides always both sides hate me because i'm so enlightened centrist i'm so enlightened and i can see both sides and so they both hate me because i don't just go along with them stupidly and he's done this many many times and he's had many cycles because you know new people come on the internet etc etc it's it's it was very stupid take it was very stupid um and of course uh things get more complicated as times go as time goes on like really more complicated so one of boogie's um big things is that even though his character francis um uh, his, his character francis is a rager like super super mad you know we just saw it you know the where let me smell your breath let me smell your breath boogie Steven, the person who he is, the person he actually is, um, he always sold himself as, um, as a, wait, no way, Max, that's impossible. I'm talking about Boogie, because I want to talk about Boogie, we got a lot to go through, okay? Listen, all right, listen, so let me show you, let me see if I can find you an example of, uh, of, like, Boogie's non- francis content let's take a look we'll go back to like the golden era okay ready you want to you want to see like actually hold on i think i got the perfect video here we go ready here we go this is the real deal i believe here we go what's up ladies and gentlemen of youtube boogie to 988 coming at you live once okay, again okay now this is this is a sad story okay but True, White. True, though. Hey, good to see you, White. All right. Let's watch this video together, okay? You guys can practice your your uh, your 
combos if you want to yeah our highest is an 86 it's amazing much love to you all right so this is kind of a sad video but this is really emblematic of the type of content that yeah this is about there's some abuse that goes on here but it's not like it's not like the the worst thing ever but this is like emblematic of the type of content that he would do on on his channel when he wasn't in character as francis we'll get into, into all this power of the internet you may not know me as Boogie to 988. You may know me as my character Francis, who gets really angry all the time and breaks stuff. But, but that's okay. I'm just glad you know me at all. I don't think this is a, a real lot of song. people have asked me to draw my life story, and it's kind of sad. But I'd like to do that for you now. I grew up in the southwestern part of Virginia in a small town called St. Paul, and it only had about a thousand people in it. And it was part of the coal mining belt here in America. And of course, my dad mined coal. It was a very hard job, which made him very sad. And my mother was a teacher, but she was always very sad. And not only was she sad, but she was pretty angry about her life and everything that had happened up to then. We had a medium-sized family. I was the youngest and the smallest. And uh, my brother, Old Brian, school, he was yep. the oldest. He was pretty cool. And my sister, Carla, she was kind of crazy, actually. And eventually, she ran away. And my brother went off to college, which left me alone at the age of nine with my crazy, angry, depressed family, which really kind of sucked. So my dad was almost always at work, and that left me alone with my mother, who was always sad all the time, and sometimes she'd get really angry and she'd scream at me, and that happened almost every day, and sometimes she'd hit me, and that happened every day too. So because there's a wide people, uh, combo going on we're gonna stop watching this particular video but you get the idea you see here we go ready everybody oh no the music i have to oh wait it's okay it's fine i won't get hit Good sploosh. I have to say, very good sploosh. Absolutely um, good sploosh. Um, so this was one of another one of his videos. This video, by the way, I want you to just take a take a look. Thirty eight million views posted in twenty eleven. He he still has four point two six million subscribers, by the way. But yeah, this is like this is like old school YouTube god tier. Thirty eight million. Yeah absurd yeah it was wild wild times okay wild so but again francis is the angry character boogie is himself a very very like um a very very like uh sympathetic kind uh he presents himself as like the cuddly bear of the internet But, but, as it turns out, you just can't really believe everything that you see on the internet, un unfortunately. Um, was it just the haters that got to him? Hard to say. Um, there is a an absolute glut of disinformation about this person but let me show you why before i give you everything that we're going to talk about i want to show you why we're talking about boogie today because i'm sure you've gotten this far relatively transfixed by the spectacle that is francis and that is boogie but there's a reason we're talking about boogie today um is there a sort of sympathy that centrists admit that seemed like a different type of insincere yeah i think there is yeah look the halting of retail investments today proves there is no free market. They do not want you to lift yourself up. Capitalism is wage slavery and they don't want to stop owning you. Fuck the fence. I am done with that shit. Eat the rich. Which is pretty wild coming from a guy who, uh, who previously supported Gamergate, who 
talked about you know like downplayed uh gay rights issues um who you know didn't know i wouldn't say he engaged in holocaust denialism but he certainly um was very flippant with his statements about world war ii and the holocaust um is this positive coverage of boogie or a negative one more like cautionary no, this isn't a drama mama segment, though maybe it should have been. This is just a fun drama segment. Um, is this a bait and switch? It's just coverage in general. Listen, Boogie is too complicated to fully understand, okay? The tale of the Boogie. Much coverage, exactly. He could be a Nosball or tanky rather than an actual lefty. Ah, uh, we'll find out. This is a unique segment, okay? It's Boogie lore, because I used to be a big fan. Believe it or not, I was a big fan of Boogie. As you can understand, as you can imagine from like his story, there was a lot that resonated with me. In fact, the first time I ever saw his draw my life, I cried, because it reminded me of a lot of things that I dealt with. But over time, uh, Boogie became more and more of a complicated figure. And it wasn't just stuff like like being charitable to Gamergate that did it. It was the fact that not instead of just being charitable to Gamergate, he was actually spurring a lot of it on on 4chan. And then things got even weirder because um, uh, he, he somewhere between Chris Chan and Wings of Redemption, more like between Wings of Redemption and... Uh, Keemstar, ah. yeah, he stalked Anita at a panel. Um, lot of lot of weird stuff. Okay, but it got even weirder. So a big part of the lore of this character was that uh, he had a wife who loved him very very much, and in fact, um, she took care of him because, as you can tell, Boogie is a very big guy. Um. Boogie is, in fact, like, severely disabled. Um, like, not only is he really, really, like, morbidly obese, but also he has uh, lymphedema, um, which is like... Um, which is like it's when fluid fills your legs and it makes it hard to ever lose the weight because you can't exercise easily without hurting yourself or with pain. Um, so, hey, good night, virtual guy. So Boogie, uh, Boogie's wife did a lot for him. Yeah. Um, yeah, did a lot for him. And she was a huge part of the of the lore of the character. Um and there were like he would always talk about oh like oh my you know my wife my partner is doing all this stuff and he had a little dog and they got a new house and there was this whole parasocial element of watching him um you know watching him you know grow and grow his channel and all of this stuff um boogie frequented the same game stores i did in 2012 to 2013 he was a total piece of shit then he treated his wife life sh like shit at mtg tournaments and she would cook for him during the tournament um yes that's true nibiru yes um but it gets even even weirder okay so again let's just follow up on what's happening right now short version i used to be a centrist that tried to be kind to both the left and the right in america i got bullied by the alt-right for years Extremists on the right made me move further away from that and letting my left and libertarian flag fly. Eat the rich. He has a lymphede uh, lymphedema, I think it's called. Lymphedema, yes. Yes, that is true. About two years ago, I noticed that the people that made a hobby out of bullying me online were often alt-right trash. Lefties bully me sometimes too, but the left bullies me for being wrong or hurtful. The right bullies me for how I look and for not being mean like them. Hmm. And that is true. That is true. Of course. However... Boogie is more complicated than just being able to, um, you know, being able to just say this and say 
that. And there's a couple of of fucking um, reasons. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, I just saw a new tweet from him, which is really interesting. Um, there was some conspiracism about Boogie's divorce, about his wife bla dating a black dude. The memes are still out there. Yes, uh, there are a lot of weird memes. And as it turns out, uh, quite suddenly, uh, a bit ago, Boogie announced that he was separating from his wife. And he kept saying, oh, it's on friendly terms. It's this, it's, it's that on his YouTube channel. But meanwhile... On his Twitch, he was saying a lot of other things. In fact, on his Twitch, things were very, very strange. And in fact, when people would criticize him on Twitch, there were multiple occasions in which he threatened to kill himself over various disagreements sometimes with other content creators and none of this would ever or would very rarely leave twitch to youtube so he had this massive following on youtube that had a completely different perception of who he was than who he was on twitch and eventually people obviously caught on to it and this resulted in the strangest chapter in boogie 2988's life uh in which um oh yeah i mean he, yes he 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 did there were ones like that yes he made um very strange um suicide threats uh this was very weird manipulation of his audience and even weirder was the was the strange relationship he had with his wife his wife who had no internet presence basically the only story that anybody was getting was his side of the story which is um you know, which was basically that, oh, like, she's been taking care of me a long time. We're parting on good, um, you know, on, on good grounds. But as it turns out, like, they probably weren't on good grounds. Um, yeah, they probably weren't. And in fact, the more that happened, the more that came out to the degree that, like, it was discovered that, like, not only... Um, was he not on good relate good terms with his like wife he may have actually abused her at multiple points and um oh yeah yeah he would do this he would go on stream and he would call his wife on stream in front of all of his followers um on on twitch and many of much of this again would never reach the youtube audience which continued to consume his heartwarming and um positive content but then things started to get really 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 fucking weird and i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about because guess what it's still up actually some of these videos are still up so we're gonna watch something and warning it's really fucking weird okay like really really fucking weird okay we're gonna watch it so just pretend that this is a horror movie because thankfully it's all a youtube video and you can't be hurt by it but it's definitely very weird this video was posted by Boogie in 2018 called Boogie 2988 slash Francis loses his mind. Let's watch. Boogie! Jesse! Get out of there, Jesse! Jesse, no! Leave me be! Go! I'm not leaving, Boogie! Nope, not till I read this book. Oh, is right. What's up? Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie2988, coming at you live from that little... This is written all over here is, I'm a psychopath, 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 I'm a psychopath. And um, this was a response to a Reddit thread of people who were members of his Twitch chat who were saying, hey, this guy's lying to you. This guy is not telling you the truth. Um, and this was the beginning of a series of very strange videos in which it appears, this is not props, are they? These are props. Wait, what do you mean? Yeah, this, these are props. 
Looks like a mediocre found footage movie. Well, let's keep going. Room. This is what I wanted to see. This is where I wanted to be. Damn. This is what I wanted to read. He was hiding it from me the whole time. Does it look familiar? So as you can see, uh, well, this is not just a Francis skit. This is called Boogie 2988 slash Francis Loses His Mind. Francis is Boogie. Boogie is Francis. Francis loses his mind. Boogie loses his mind. Boogie loses his Francis. Francis loses his Boogie. Uh, nobody really knows completely, big boy. There is evidence of, potent of potentially both, but there's, but it's never been fully confirmed. And remember, this video came out as a response to members of his community saying that, like, hey, it's pretty weird that you keep threatening us with suicide if we don't give you donations. Which did happen, or it was at least heavily implied. Let's keep going, okay? Exactly the way I pictured it when I wrote it. This is almost word for word the script I gave Jesse in 2016. I am upset. I am disappointed. I'm not mad about the novel. I'm mad that Jesse's a friend. I just wish you would apologize. I just wish you. Um, I think this was uh, slightly referring to another drama that was going on at the time. Uh, some creative differences with um, another creator named Jesse, um, who created that book. That that is not immediately relevant. Yeah. You pretty sure that video was shot at one of the sets? Yeah. Jesse was the character who McJuggernuggets played? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, my, I, I don't remember that per spe specific part. Be a friend. I wish you'd just be a better friend. <sighs> oh, wait. Was Jesse is the character, the other character that he does, right? Yeah. The, there's another... Wait, is that the other character? I don't know. See, fuck it. That's not relevant at the moment. It's not relevant at the moment. Do in the comment section below. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed. I'll talk to you in the morning. Thanks for watching. I love you very much. And I'll speak with you again soon. And so now you can see... Oh, it's kind of hard to see this. But this is... You now see he's wearing the Francis outfit. And now he's talking the Francis voice. We're actually here. Well, whoever decorated this place knows what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, Xander Hall, but I'm gonna explain what's going on. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain. Don't worry. We're just watching this because of the spectacle and to get the idea of what we're talking about. But thank you, Xan. I appreciate that. <laughs> hey, guys. What's up? It's me, Francis. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think Boogie's doing so good. <laughs> Holy I wrote this. What the f***? Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! I don't need you here. No, I, I, I disagree! I disagree! I think you assaulted his mother about ten minutes ago! I, I, you know... It, it, things are getting a little out of hand. It, it, it's just a prank. It's just a prank. What kind of prank is this? What kind of prank is this, okay? Read the writing on the wall! Read the writing on the wall! No, 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 no. I'm I, I'm in control. I've got this. I'm in complete control. I, I, you know, it means just your friends. What kind of friend lies to you about a book? What kind of friend cuts you out of everything? What kind of friend edits you to look like a lunatic in his videos, huh? It's not like we have a lot of friends, man. Some of them are gonna suck, right? You can't, beggars can't be choosers. But you know what a beggar can do? A beggar can do without it. A beggar would be better off. A beggar would be better off. Listen, okay, listen. This is not the first time I've had to clean up this is why I said mess, just but it treat better it like a be the last, movie, okay? okay? Can't hurt you. I got this taken care of. Are you gonna trust me? You, I'm not gonna trust you for anything, okay? You're the one who's destroyed everything okay you're the one who who who's who's ruined my youtube career you're the one who takes over on twitter and and makes me tweet all of this awful <laughs> you're the one who takes over on the live streams and makes me say these things that ruins my <laughs> career character hmm remember that line right there
assassination. Are you familiar with that, science, that term? Because you are the gunman. You are the gunman. Yes, that he did. Pulled the he did have trigger. surgery to replace his teeth. That's yes. wrong. I, I agree. One of us is a piece of. But that ain't me, buddy. You don't. You don't know. You're a character. You're a character. You're a thought. You are a, a distant bubble, okay? I, I created you. I dreamt you up one day. And just as easily, I can make you go away. Do you understand that? Do you have any in the understanding of what this actually is? Oh, you know what happens when we die. You you know where we came from, okay? Oh, what is this? Oh, you know whether or not it's a simulation or whether or not there's a god, huh? You're in fucking charge? You're in some level of control? Is that what you're trying to tell me? You know what the f is going on? Little mister, I tweet stupid and I blame it on my disease. Little mister, I say stupid on the stream and I blame it on my disease, okay? I'm not the disease. You are. You're the disease. Well, I got everybody. Plan. I don't know if you're going. Everybody in chat, will you fucking ride with me? Do I ever take you down a rabbit hole that isn't worth it at the end? Just ride with me. Watch the video and we'll talk. I promise. Just get comfy, imps, and watch, okay? Listen, I promise. It's going to make sense. Okay, don't worry. If you if you don't like this, like keep in mind, this is a YouTube dude. We're watching a bit of... of but it... Just watch. Listen, if you can't handle it, don't watch something you can't handle, obviously. But let's go. Like the plan. Zoom. But it's going to help clear up this little mess you made up here in Jersey. And then uh, maybe we can start working on a YouTube channel when we get back at home. All right? But for now, you're going to have to trust me. I don't, I don't trust you, dude. I've never trusted you. You are the most untrustworthy person on the planet. Do you understand that? You're an actual sociopath. You're an actual psychopath. You are the reason she left. Okay? And you know that. Yeah, Boogie. I'm why she left. I'm all killed by the only reason you found her to begin with, okay? Okay, you win. You win. You're in charge. What do we do? All right, well, take a look to your left, okay? I packed you a little bit of lunch. What is... Jesus Christ. I'm not eating this. You're not supposed to eat it, idiot. That's for later. Okay, okay, all right. How do I know I can trust you? You don't have to trust me, buddy, okay? I got a friend you can talk to. Well, look right there. She's here. I'm sorry, I know you don't like being on camera. <laughs> How have you been? Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to know you're happy. I miss her too. I know you're tired of hearing it, but uh... I'm really sorry. Come on, she's here. Is there anything you want to say? Well, what, 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 what do you want me to say? I don't know what I'm supposed to say to her. I, I, well, she's an actress to me. She's a... Get ready, chat. She just pretend, all right? You, you tell me I'm a character, she's a character, right? That's my, my sister, I guess. That's how you wrote it, right? I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to say to you. Uh, I mean, things are still going along pretty good. Uh, I've, I've, you know, I've been doing, I've been doing a lot of videos. Uh, Boogie brought me back. I'm doing Fridays with Francis every Friday. New Francis video, though. I don't know, but, but, but you know, life just kind of kept going on. Oh, uh, I wish you would talk right now. I wish you would say something right now. You know, can you talk? Can you talk? Huh? I built you. I put you together. You got a mouth, so you're gonna talk. Are you gonna talk? Are you gonna talk? 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 You know, you're the reason I left. What? What? I said you're why I left. Shut the f up. Nobody asked you. You. Well, here we are.
A collaboration you guys have been waiting on since 2016! <laughs> Francis versus Psycho Kid. Francis and the Psycho family. Francis and the Psycho room! Is that what you guys wanted to see? You wanted to watch us go crazy? <laughs> As you wish. <laughs> you wanted to watch Boogie become a psychopath. That's what we call them every day. On your little reddits. He's been waiting for him to f*** it up. Waiting for him to destroy it all. Waiting for him to gain the weight back. Waiting for him to lose his mind. Well, I got some bad news for you. He's been... We'll get there. We'll get there, Kaboka. We'll explain this. Crazy the whole time. <laughs> you know what? I can't say I blame you for leaving. Kinda wish I'd get the out of here too. I don't mean this room. I mean I miss I mean away from David. Away from that house. Away from YouTube. Away from it all. <laughs> I'm stuck here with him. Why well, excuse me, miss. May I have this dance? <laughs> oh, you know how to Fortnite dance? You know you wanna floss? You wanna learn to floss? Huh? Is that what you want to do, huh? Hey, Merry Christmas. Guess what you got? We're going to Disneyland. Oh, you got Just Dance. Gonna be okay. Look out of yourself. Just Dance. Gonna be okay. Go f*** yourself. Happy Easter. <laughs> Here's your f bowl of carrots. It's another Thanksgiving. Sure, Xander Hall. Ruined by you. It's another sure, Easter ruined by you! I really loved you. I really did. And I know you really loved me. Well, I know you loved him. And I know you f***ing hated me. You hated all of it, didn't you? You f***ing hated YouTube. You f***ing hated the fame. You f***ing hated the fans. You hated the trips. You hated the conferences. You hated the other YouTubers bogarting my time. <sighs> when I met you, I was a 600 pound man on f disability. All right? Look at me now. Look at me now. And you know what? You're the one who did that. You're the one who did that. You're the one that came into our life. This is where it starts to get really weird, okay? All right? Just bear with me because I'll explain how messy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Zan, afterwards, we can talk about that. We'll, we'll go into the big depth in a second. Let me just finish this video, and I'll get to my point, and then we can talk about it more. Don't worry. When we had given up, when we had given up hope, we'd given up on ourselves, we give it up on our career, we give it up on our job, and you took us out of that bed where we were ready to die, and you helped us work every single day. You helped us develop me, not just Boogie as a person, not just me as a character, but you taught us how to live when we were ready to die, and everything we have, we owe to you. Does that make you feel good? Does that make you feel superior? Does that make you feel loved? Because it's made me f***ing hate you. And after all that, you took it away. Take a look at me now. In a minute, Gina. In a minute, everyone. Relax, relax. Because I'm just In a minute. empty space. There's nothing left here to remind me. Just a memory of your face. Go take a look at me now. Wow! Cause I'll be standing tall. And you coming back to me is against all odds. But that's what I gotta face. Welcome, Melanie. We're in a very you know, wild a rabbit hole. I've held on long enough. I gotta say goodbye. Why? 
Why is it so hard? Is this what you guys want to see? You want to see crazy? I can show you crazy. Hey, no worries. See you later, Agent. Hey, Boomer, destroy wife. Oh, Rantanic, uh, you walked into a very strange chapter of the internet. It doesn't help. It doesn't make it feel any less painful. It's as miserable as I've ever been. Hey, buddy, you gotta calm down, okay? All right, this is actual crazy, all right? They're gonna think you're you're threatening somebody. You're gonna think you're hurting somebody, okay? Uh, it's styrofoam. Someone would have to be an idiot to think it. Uh, no, no, that's the thing is, that's what you're dealing with. You're dealing with actual idiots, okay? That's the thing. You're dealing with actual psychopaths. That's who watches your content. Yes, Not all of them. The Most of them are pretty normal. Most of them are pretty healthy. Most of them have a brain you might not be wrong, in their head. Bird. Thank you very much. But some of them don't. Boop, boop. And they'll use any excuse. Any excuse to kick you while you're down. And they don't need a lot of reasons. Because you've already gave them plenty. So how do we get out of this? How do we fix this? How do we fix this? I told you, Boogie. Time to eat your lunch. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. That's the only way out. Can I talk you off camera? Yeah. Hey, guys. What's up? We're Francis. <laughs> Ugh. Are you sure this is gonna work? I don't know. I mean, I'm about as sure of it as I am anything. Which is to say, not at all. <laughs> you know? I hope it works. Because if it's not, we're gonna get killed on this one, buddy. That'd be so bad. Uh. Depends on who you're asking. You're asking me? Nope. And if it doesn't work? Hey, whether it works or not, it's content. There's one thing I'm sure of. They're gonna love it. <laughs> cock a doodle do! Jesse, wake up! We're waiting for you! So I'll read it again. Dedication. This book is dedicated to my family and my best friend, Ella. None of this would have been possible without them. Should have said Francis. Special thanks to Evan Weiss, Mike Graham, Cole, Jebedak Schultz, and the Kickstarter Juggies, and not Boogie for some fucking reason. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. It's a pretty good book. All right, so now you've gone for the very strange ride uh, into a skit that happened to coincide with a whole bunch of IRL drama, uh, a, a whole bunch of accusations and, and concern from his community, and using a whole bunch of real people and seemingly real events. And yet it is no doubt a skit. There is 
no actual as far as we can tell I need um you know real yeah it's over it's over relax it's it's on youtube it can't it, no one's going to die it's on youtube you can, like it's not live leak okay it is weird he did beat up an effigy of a character that is based off of his wife and did rant about actual things he talked about repeatedly as being issues he did um weirdly talk about all kinds of real things he dealt with and mix that with his character francis and mix that into a storyline of a show that he was doing at the same time that really fucked up drama was happening while uh he was unironically trying to tell his audience that it was their fault that he was being bad um and ah uh, and also he claimed this was done for therapy uh yeah so let's just put it this way did we go over the irl drama already uh a little bit but the, but the problem is with the irl drama that not all of it is clear and it is very weird how much of this directly correlates to things that he's actually doing about and notice in the video he literally says like oh these idiots are going to take it for real they're so fucking stupid he's literally like insulting his own fans and saying that they're too stupid to understand what's actually going on and boogie i should say this is going to tie into a weird place that silent will probably appreciate if silent is here i don't know if silent is but silent if you're here you'll probably appreciate this i'm sure um but boogie was a big fan of wrestling you know wrestling in wrestling there's a concept called kayfabe which is where you're supposed to be in character anytime you're in public so that there's no doubts about whether you're a character or not and as you can see with a character like boogie slash francis yeah uh is this kayfabe is this reality does boogie even know at this point what it is anymore and when this is a problem interestingly that wrestlers dealt with as well uh wrestlers in kayfabe would oftentimes after a long enough time uh in the, a lot of the problems that they were dealing with on set would expand out into their life and interestingly things that they did in character could impact their real life um like for example um you know uh the iron sheik um broke kayfabe and as a result uh or well broke kayfabe um in a really silly way and then was fired for it and his life went down the, the gutter why are we talking about boogie because boogie recently left the right or left the center and we want to talk i want to talk about boogie because a lot of people kayfabe kayfabe i don't know i think it's kayfabe i don't know whatever fact of the matter is um yeah boogie re well let's not let's not let's not jump the gun here everyone my goodness <laughs> my goodness jeez everybody's been fucking everybody's been fucking jumping the gun in this segment my goodness at least hey uh yeah um but but yeah uh leaving the le leaving the right or whatever um seems we can't entirely know his entire situation maybe either he is throwing some red herrings or completely genuine couldn't tell so far and we did not think that some and we and did not think that some of this thus far how certain are we if he was genuine behind the besides the video well that's really fucking hard to sort right because there was um there were fucking people online he was giving uh, he was giving different perspectives on his twitter or on his uh, Twitch versus what he would say on his YouTube. There was um, a bunch of factual things in his real life that were like, what the fuck? And then there were other things that seemed to be true. Like for example, his wedding photos definitely seemed to be true. Now keep in mind, the character in this skit that he is beating up, the, the, the effigy of, is in the skit, in the universe of the skit, his sister. But his sister in the Francis skits is actually his wife. The character, the person who plays his sister in the in the 
false in the fake universe in the francis universe is his uh, his wife irl and that is real that is true and his wife did divorce him and in this video he's beating up an effigy of his sister who is his wife and he's talking about issues that have to do with his wife really fucking messy yeah right no, it, I don't think it is, Neverek. I don't, I don't think it is. And that's the thing. Uh, maybe. It could be. But nobody knows what's actually true with him. And that's the thing. Um, now, of course, there's a, there's a parasocial element of this as well. His fans, a lot of his fans, became really obsessed with his weight loss because he made his weight loss a huge part of of the parasocial elements of his stream. He talked about his weight loss all the time. He would do vlogs where he updated people on his weight loss attempts, it's extremely personal. Um, and um, and people, of, of course, I know, right, Vermin? This gets really fucking weird. This is why I'm saying it's fucking weird. He would weigh in all the time on his personal struggles. And it was, and they were obviously, uh, they are, this is obviously, some of this is true. I mean, for example, people actually acted on uh, on the things that he talked about on stream. Uh, other streamers, a fitness streamer, in fact, literally lived with him, went out and stayed with him for like weeks to help him build a fitness yoga routine that he could do at his weight so that he could actually exercise. Right? So like people actually took him seriously and did this. And then, yeah, literally, it was a diamond diamond daryl diamond daryl page or something like that a a like hardcore yoga guy who's really who helps um people uh you know helps people lose weight and stuff and so they came in to help him with that and his fans did his fans were a huge part of his life he was like again tons of parasocial elements and then this shit starts happening and the story starts to get murkier and it becomes harder and harder to tell what's actually true and what's not true and all of this is in the context of people actually trying to apply scrutiny to him. And all of a sudden, the waters get even muddier. So it became very difficult to tell what was true, what was false. And he wrote on that to seemingly pressure people from actually looking into his life at all or finding out anything about the situation. Yeah, but we don't need to armchair psychologize, you know? Um, yeah. It's really, really hard to tell what's actually happening here. But it is very weird. So, this is why it's not parasocial to be inspired from someone improving their life. No, no, it isn't. But, but it was much more than that. It was much more than that, Nuts. Nuts, it wasn't just people being inspired by him. It was people... Um, it was people who were, uh, you know, following his vlogs. They were living his life with him. They were people who believed themselves to be fans. They were attached to the real person, Steven, who may not even be real. We don't even know. Yeah, D Diamond Dallas Page. That's who I was talking about. Yeah, Diamond Dallas Page. Yep. Uh, and, and people were very attached to him. And it's understandable to a degree, right? I mean, he was, he was constantly telling people in his videos this is the real me oh i feel with this a lot of the stuff in his draw my life are verifiably false yeah that i mean that has turned out that that some i mean i don't even know i don't even know how you prove that but it, as it turns out there's a lot of questions about what is actually true about his life did he recently pull a gun on someone yes he pulled a gun on a stalker um yeah he did pull a gun on a stalker in fact it's right here you can see that right discussed right here it's pictured right here over here, above my head. You can see him holding a gun on somebody. Yeah, well, I mean, again, remember, I uh, very, very, very much... Um, wait, how is it verified? How is what verified? You mean, like, the 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 gun thing? Oh, that were, there was, like, police reports for that one. Yeah, there was police reports and a video for that one. Yeah, so it, oh, his history? Nobody knows. 
people some people don't think it's happened some people think it was real other people just took him at face value sorry i didn't mean to hit that there um but yeah he could be lying all the time yeah virgil texas mike behavior mm. but um yeah it's uh it, it's kind of fucked up and this is why at the end of the day uh please be careful celebrating boogie 2988 leaving the right and honestly there's a lot of people who don't really work with boogie anymore and you can kind of see why because i don't even know if steven williams aka boogie 2988 aka francis actually knows who he really is anymore it's really hard to tell and it's really hard to tell how much of it has just been made up the entire time yeah i mean that's the thing right uh it becomes impossible to tell what is it about with people named steven listen i can't answer that question it's a wild wild story and of course there's so much more well if zan is still if zan zan if you still want to come on and tell us about more stuff um we can we can dive into the details um but like i hadn't planned on going deep 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 into the details i wanted to show you the general arc and um i wanted to show why i don't think people should be like gla like happily clapping uh boogie as a like comrade boogie and all that even though it's cool and i'm sure he's gonna beef up some stock um if there's one thing that's sure about boogie is that he is incapable incapable of not filming damn near everything in his life and constantly trying to get the audience on his side always always and that's the thing because there are a lot of times where where things that don't have to do with the character were avoided being apologized for where statements were blamed on the other character or where he would blame that on oh you know even in the video he talks about oh that was you you do the mean things on on twitch that's a reference mind you to people saying that he was horrible to them um people saying he was horrible to them in in twitch chat that he would um talk about being suicidal in in the name of drumming up donations and he was criticized pretty heartily for that and then he puts that in a skit to make it seem like those people are in the wrong the people who said that's weird so you can see how strange this is right where even if it is all fake even if it's completely fake it's really fucking weird it's really fucking parasocial and it's really fucking manipulative even if it is fake really weird huh yeah it sounds like he's trying to use his character to manipulate irl people and remember keep in mind that he doesn't just like i mean he went on interviews and talked about politics as himself and then tries to play it off like oh well that's just a character that's just a character, you know? So yeah, the thing is, L Lonnie, it's not that I, I'm not, I'm not impugning you for, for saying like comrade boogie, like personally or anything. I'm not saying that at all. I know it's for, I know it's fun. Don't worry. Um, oh yeah. Down the rabbit hole does some great videos. Um, but, but yeah, I'm not like, I'm not saying anybody like you can joke about the stuff like that. Um, of course, but just again, if you're, it, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm caution, cautioning people, um, like to be careful about unironically standing Boogie 2988 because Boogie 2988, 2988 is somebody whose history on the internet is completely off the rails. And the fact of the matter is that at the end of the day, like him or hate him, this guy granted a lot of credence to movements like gamergate and p a lot of people who are who who saw him as a centrist saw his blessing of gamergate as hey that means this is legit he's a centrist if the centrist agrees with me then gamergate must be okay 
So do you see where this can be really problematic? Where even if it's all fake, he used his character, or maybe himself, you'll never know the answer to that question, to influence political things that had really bad impacts on other people. Do you think that Anita Sarkeesian or Zoe Quinn or any of the countless people who've been harassed by Gamergate, if any of those people... Um, do you think they care whether it was a character or not, or whether it was kayfabe or, or not? Because I don't. I don't care. And that's why I worry about Boogie2988 talking on politics again and being characteristically very extreme, playing the victim that he always does. I am bullied by everyone, but I bullied more by the right. And so, you you know, I'm going to go to the left, eat the rich, buy GameStop stock, which he's probably invested in himself. E Ooh. Ah, mm, mm, it's not a matter of if Gamergate 2 will happen. It's when Gamergate 2 will happen, unfortunately. Hate to say it. But, yeah. Kind of weird, yeah. <laughs> Bo Boogie is a disnosable... What? Sorry, what was that? Nuts? I'm sorry, nuts. What? Disnosable? Sorry. I don't know what you were trying to say there. It's just a character, Pepe. A, like, imagine 15 years of supposed Pepe posting. And also, uh, keep in mind... Um, diagnosable. I mean, I don't know. I don't know about, I don't know about that, but just, but here's the thing. Remember a lot of this, um, uh, like a lot of this, uh, is like, he didn't like, it's hard to believe that this was all a plan. This was all a, um, you know, a character thing when he didn't know he was, you know, when he was viral, Oh, I saw a new tweet from him that was just like, it was just like, oof. Like, I mean, let's see. Boogie2988, if you're as wealthy as you say you are, why do you have a PayPal link in your link tree? Same reason as any creator. In case someone wealthier wants to throw money at me, in case someone enjoys my content and wants to send a, like a dollar saying they do. Never happens. But who knows? Might get lucky and some new millionaire yeets me a mortgage payment. No matter how much much money I have, if someone wants to give me more and has to give and has it to give, I'll gladly take it and do some good with it. Or cocaine with it. Do you see what I'm talking about with this very strange way of like Uh oh. The YouTube chat why is the YouTube chat on fire? Oh, okay, it's literally on fire. Oh, I see. Hello. Um, do you see what I mean? And he's like hawking crypto stuff. Political correctness is the manifestation of low self-esteem. Thoughts? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, um, again, Boogie, my dude, I don't know, yeah, exactly, Somniostatic, yeah, I don't know why, but let's see, YouTube, I'm proud of you for putting the fires in the chat, good job, look at all these fires, it's very warm in here, no, don't let your strength fade, don't let your strength fade, look at all those fire combos, incredible, very warm in here. Yeah, I mean, and again, notice that like in this um, in this post, he's like nobody ever nobody ever donates. Look, he's like nobody ever donates to me. Sniff, sniff. See you later, Cash. Have a good night. Yeah, it wasn't me. It was Somnio Francis. Yeah, exactly, Adam. Yeah, very weird. What is Gamergate? Oh, uh, okay, I can explain Gamergate. Uh, Gamergate, um, 
Yeah, I, I think that that's a I think that's a fair conclusion. Uh, Vouch the stampede. Um, yeah, I think there's I think that it's understandable that a lot of people would um, would conclude that. Yeah, yeah, you like that ooh, Xander Hall? Yeah. Uh, let me explain Gamergate real quick, and then I'll bring Xan on. Okay, uh, Gamergate was an event in which um, in which. Uh, a bunch of 4chaners freaked out like really hardcore about this random game developer's personal drama with her boyfriend. Her boyfriend had a big following um, and basically wrote a, um, a thing called the Zoe Post, okay? The Zoe Post was basically an allegation against his ex, Zoe Quinn, by a person named Aaron Gioni. Aaron uh, basically said, uh, Zoe's a piece of shit. Uh, she sleeps around. She slept around to get support for her game. She was abusive, etc., etc. And then 4chan got a hold of it, and then Reddit got a hold of it, and then it was really super toxic, and so Reddit killed the thread, and that created a panic because people said they're trying to hide the story. And a couple of main personalities jumped on board. Oh, Zoe does these days? Sorry, I haven't updated on Zoe for a very long time. It's called the Streisand effect. Um, yeah, thank you for letting me know that, Ziltoid. I, I didn't know Zoe goes by them. That's cool as fuck. Um, but Zoe ended up being the subject of a lot of critique. And a bunch of big YouTube accounts, including Boogie2988 and the Internet Aristocrat and Sargon of Akkad and Ethan Ralph of the Killstream and later Milo Yiannopoulos... All of those people jumped on board alleging a conspiracy theory by SJWs in the gaming industry to launder their politically correct video games, um, and it, it spun out of control. And a lot of people were brought in because, at the time, people had memories of the uh, enthusiast press of gaming being corrupt because they were. B because they were. Because, like... But not in the way they thought. You see, the press was bought by giant corporations that would literally send strippers to parties so that they would, you know, in the future favorably review their games. And uh, anyway, this exploded and became just so massive. A bunch of people's careers were launched off of it. Sargon of Akkad was launched off of it. Bearing, arguably, sh even Shoe on Head. You could argue the Shoe on Head was was launched out of it. A bunch of the, the skeptics jumped onto this anti-SJW stuff during Gamergate. But And Chris Reagan. Um, and, uh, I mean, Shoe had a pretty big following, but yes, did blow up from it. A lot of people did. Ethan Ralph definitely did. Milo Yiannopoulos was already successful in his own right, but jumped in to turn it right wing and succeeded, by the way. Even more right wing than it already was. It was already pretty right wing. But a lot of people got duped in and thought, hey, this is like a big uprising about ethics and journalism. And in reality, that's not true. That was just a convenient excuse. It was the shield they could put on the front. Oh, uh, Short Fat Otaku. A whole bunch of people were involved in that. And, uh, and it ended up, by the way, just so you know, it ended up with some really horrible outcomes. Gamergate resulted in a bunch of, uh, femme-presenting people, a number of them trans people, being horrifically, horrifically harassed, stalked, doxxed, threatened, weapons and 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 poison sent to their houses uh one person um was literally had their house cased and their in the floor plan of their house was posted online steve bannon was indeed recruiting via milo yiannopoulos yes we're talking gamergate Yes, there was a there was a, a a panel appearance. Yeah, Bannon did do that. Yes, Bannon was at the time 
uh, if I remember correctly, Bannon was currently was at the time working at Breitbart, and he worked with Milo Yiannopoulos to get Milo in on reporting on Gamergate so they could control the narrative. And they succeeded, by the way. They really succeeded. Oh, yeah, uh, Milo Stewart, who's really fucking cool, uh, got totally blown up by Gamergaters. A bunch of people did. And it was really, really fucking bad. Oh, you got a backup? <gasps> oh, my God. Yeah, the mega threads. Holy shit. Yeah, wild shit. Oh, here it is. They have them. Oh, my God. Yeah, Milo Stewart got totally mistreated. Look, look at this. These are the mega threads that we're trying to keep track of the boogie drama. Look. Look at how long these are. Look at how much stuff. Two. There were two like this. Of their fans desperately trying to figure out what was actually happening. Because that's how obfuscated it was. But Gamergate was really fucking bad. And Gamergate, like, like, actually, literally, there were, did you know there was congressional hearings over Gamergate? Did you know that? Huh, I didn't know about that, hippie punk. What do we do when Gamergate 2 happens? Well... We're going to have to figure that out because what it's going to require is a whole lot of solidarity and a whole lot of protecting whoever the targets end up being because it will happen again. It's inevitable. These things happen all the, these things have happened. It's Gamergate wasn't the first of its type and there were many more. Hey, th hey, good night, Adam Flores. Oh, holy shit. Thank you so much. Pretty sure, Pretty sure you're, you're not, not allowed to be a white name. name. Wait, that's a tier four. Thank you so much, Somniostatic. Holy shit. Thank you. You can argue that Gamergate really put the alt-right on the map. Well, yeah, it created the preconditions for the alt-right. Keep in mind, um, what's his name? Adam, what's his name? Adam, Adam, uh, Firefly. He was from Firefly. Adam Baldwin. No, Adam Baldwin. Adam Baldwin got on board. You know this guy from Firefly right here? Yeah, you know this guy? This dude. You know Firefly, right? This guy is a super right winger, and he was the one who tweeted about it from his massive celebrity account. He literally named it Gamergate, yeah. And then, of course, Milo Yiannopoulos, and then, of course, Sargon of Akkad, and then, of course, you had Adam, um, uh, Worski, Andy Worski, internet aristocrat. Uh, you had all of these right wing figures that we're still fucking dealing with to this day. All of them got their start in Gamergate. Like, all of them. Yeah, Medicare. Medicare was his old name. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's fair to say it caused Trump, but it, it was the, it was the, uh, it was certainly a massive, um, a massive shove in that direction. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, AD5D2D Derek, it's possible. Yeah, and so, like, I don't think, um, yeah, I think it contributed. Yeah, a huge boost. Yeah, you know all these people. I know, it's like, it's ancient history. Just so you know, during the time of Gamergate, was a, it was a little different time for me. I didn't have a platform. All I did was fucking lurk around and, and collect information. As you can see, I'm a bit of a fucking info collector. You could tell that about me. You could tell that I fucking follow shit and I take say, save things down. Somewhere, I have files of folders of, of, of stuff that I backed up and documented during the time. Yeah. They aren't the true Adams, Adam Flores. You're the true Adam. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, because at the time, I just was documenting stuff, keeping track of it. I actually, am I an info warrior? A little bit. Yeah, somewhere I have all this shit. Yeah, but the thing of the matter is that like it, it was such a mess and it was so fast there was no way you could get all of it. I used to lurk. I I told you all this. I I used to lurk some of these conversations just to see what the fuck these people were talking about. This was back when I was uh like not I had no idea of like being a lefty. I just was I was just think like you know 
politically interested in following these things. I didn't really get like involved. I just had a quiet account and would lurk and pay attention and take notes. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, I just I just think it's important. Like memory is important and computers are memory aids. They can help us remember history. They can help us document it. Anyway. So again, the, the conclusion of this whole boogie segment is that just be careful with this guy, okay? Because, like, he does this all the time. He does this fucking shit all the goddamn time. And, and yeah. Being discriminated against made you a lefty? Fair enough. Fair enough. That's completely understandable. Yep. Yeah, the video timeline of... Yeah, exactly, Busy B. These things are really important. What do I think will cause Gamergate 2? No clue. Absolutely impossible to predict. Nobody would have been able to predict Gamergate 1 because it was literally some random... Do you know what the game was that they blew up about it? I was 16 around Gamergate and totally got sucked down the pipeline. If I wasn't dating who I was at the time, I would have been outright. It was super easy. Yeah, Depression Quest. Do you know what... De Look, do you know what Depression Quest is like? Watch this. Look. Look. This is hilarious. Look, watch. This is Depression Quest. It's literally a twine game. It's just a twine game that you click. You just click and it just goes through. This is it. It's just a text game. And this was what started it all because somebody said that this SJW depression game was getting favorable coverage. It was a free game. It was a free game. And yeah, it's a little cringe, but that's it. Yeah, it's, it's absurd. It's actually unbelievable. Yeah, that's what started it. Depression, not Depression Quest, but the creator of Depression Quest was accused by her ex in, her, in their messy breakup of getting improper of fucking people for favorable coverage N by her ex yes 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 really yes god i gotta do a whole thing on i gotta do a whole section on gamergate don't i a cute yeah exactly yep and then it became a meme called five guys burgers and fries because she's apparently fucked five guys for favorable coverage for a game that was free it's ridiculous and then, of course, oh, and by by the way, yes, John Tron did get involved. Sorry, they, them. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, Again, I apologize. Uh, yeah. Thank you for the reminder. Um, yeah, like, they're, like, yeah. And John Tron did get involved, by the way. John Tron got really involved because John Tron accused another person who was involved in it with a be of impropriety of, like, working against him. Oh, it's just so ridiculous. It was out of control. There were so many accusations that none of them could be confirmed. Yep. There were a lot of trans people who got scooped up into that. Yeah. Yeah, it was a browser game. Yep. They didn't care. This is how, this is what happens with moral panics. And it was a moral panic, by the way. This was a moral panic. It was just a very silly one. They're coming for our games. They're going to fill our games with SJW nonsense. No, that was not, that was not true. Uh, uh, that was not true. Um, that's really, really complicated, by the way. Uh, yeah. Uh, the Night in the Woods guy killed himself, but he, it was way more complicated than that. They had a bad breakup, but no, no. Yeah, exactly. Gayfesh says, My friend who works for Blizzard was so mad about Gamergate because he had been complaining about ethics and gaming journalism for years before Gamergate, but is but that destroyed the ability to have the conversation. Yeah, it's really sad. You okay, listen. A lot of people fell for the narrative because it was full of propaganda. There were literal right wing propaganda outlets filling the information with misinformation. You're not bad for falling for it. Just learn from it. That's the thing. You learn from it and you become stronger. This is why inoculating people to moral panics is important. Yeah, it was the guy from Night in the Woods, yeah. 
You're not bad for having fallen for something in the past. Remember, I grew up in a cult. That's about as hard as you can fall for anything. You were trans med because of it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, one of the main people, one of the main pro like propagators of of um, of uh, Gamergate was a really, 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 really popular trans med um, uh, trans med trans person. Anyway, it's really fucked.